All right, Taylor, what is the most memorable thing that you've ever read on a bathroom wall? The thing that's sticking out to me is all the questions that would be on bathroom. Like when what? I was in school, there would be different prompts from girls like, is this person cute? Yes or no. And you'd have just go yes or no and you'd go in and do that or um, or just different. There was like always questions on the walls that I would be like, oh, there's a new question. I'm going to answer this today. I more see like writing on bathroom walls in train station bathrooms and things like of that nature. And I just always don't really care to look too long, I think. <laughs>
but just making sure that I, I could feel like, okay, you know, when these moments present themselves, I have a bed of knowledge to fall back on somewhat uh, in terms of what that experience generally is. And, and, and that really for me of like, um, like more specifically the, the experience of the psychosis and that stuff that, that was just, you know, I think anyone who hasn't experienced it, obviously it's really hard to imagine. So, so that was really helpful. And I definitely never felt like, oh man, like now I just know everything about this and I'll be totally fine forever. Um, not in the slightest. The other thing that's tricky about this subject in particular is there's still a lot that we don't know at all about it. So, so that's also, you know, difficult. But in terms of like the actual experience of what it is and, and more so the every day of it, I felt like I did, I, I was confident in, in having somewhat of an understanding of that before we started. Given the, the, the course of, of the story and, and, you know, what the characters go through throughout and then where we leave them, you know, what do you, purely just like, I guess, as, as a person who was a part of making the story, what do you hope that people kind of take away generally from, from, and from, and from Maya and, and Adam's, you know, relationship as well? Ultimately, I think the themes I hope that are, uh, that come across and that people can connect to would be, um, you know, compassion, um, for a situation unlike your own and inspiration to be more truthful about where you're at because often when we do do that there's so many people that are at, at the ready to be like me too and me too and I oh. went through the same thing or I can relate to that feeling that you have so I, I guess that's kind of what I think would be beautiful if people took away and and I'm also excited to hear what other things that are past my viewpoint um, that come up for, for people watching. I think if like generally speaking, it can encourage people to, like what you're saying, really opening yourself to all that's in your environment, whether that be the people in your environment or really whatever it may be, but just really opening yourself to that. And I think naturally, you know, when you're in a headspace of fear, it's so easy to close yourself off and to isolate yourself and and really, you know, standing up against that feeling. Like, I, I just hope that this can, in whatever that means for you, you know, encourage you to continue to basically just stand up to fear in very general terms.